Hi everybody, Mr Hamilton here to talk you through today's activity, which is partitioning two digit numbers into different combinations of tens and ones. We're going to need to be able to partition, so if you haven't done yesterday's activity, please make sure you do that first. So, going back to yesterday's activity, here we have a what we call a part whole model. The whole is number six and it's been broken up into two parts. Those parts are two and four. So I could say as a number sentence that two add four makes six. I've used the two parts to make the number six. So what I want to know is look at this part whole model. Is it any different? It's been turned sideways. What do you think? That's right, it isn't different at all. If I continue with the whole number being six, it is still made up of two parts. I could use the same numbers or I could try and think of some different ones. But today I'm going to use the same. So it would be four, and two. Here we have a larger number. What number is represented in the place value chart? It's made up of three tens and seven ones. What number do you think it is? That's right, the number is 37. It's made up of three tens and seven ones. I can draw that number using my tens and ones knowledge. Three tens and seven ones. If I count that number, I count 10, 20, 30. Then I need to add the ones. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. I've made the number 37. I made it using three tens and seven ones. If the number I made was 37, can you represent this in a different way, finishing my number sentence? Now to today's activity. You've been asked to make combinations using tens and ones. What you need to make sure you do first is use three tens and seven ones. If you want to make this in a different way, you just need to make sure that you are using three tens and seven ones. We write the number in to show our understanding. On this side, I'm going to make it a different way. This time, I'm going to do two tens on this side and one ten on this side. Now, I'm going to share the seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've shared out three tens and seven ones. I've made the combination for 37 in a different way. This side has 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. This side has 10 and 1. That makes the number 11. That means that 26 add 11 must make 37. Can you go and try and do this on the worksheet that's been provided in the Seesaw app? 